Strommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Parcel out their patrimony. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. Four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg.
never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <sighs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Damn it. Nice meeting you. Hey, ya. Uh. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. 
Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diakten. the beggar tickets the red bloom well well one versed in herbs probably saying too much but i know a bit for instance that beggar ticks poisonous in large doses small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams which is all i can hope to do for her looking for buckthorn know if it grows anywhere around here hmm bottom of the river where the channel's widest but you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Come on, Roach.
That's it, Roach. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate men. Too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me.
was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir.